Hey there, friends. Martin from Matthew Studio coming to you once again from my backyard. And I want to take a second to thank everybody out there so much for following, for listening to these posts, for watching these posts, sharing them with your friends, for asking questions, for commenting. It means the world to me to know that people are out there learning from these posts or just having fun or learning and having fun. That's what I try to do every day as a grip. I want to learn. I want to have fun. And, uh, and that's, that's what living the dream is, right? So thank you. Appreciate it. Keep sharing, keep following, and keep asking questions. We need to know what you want to hear. So moving forward, uh, we want to address a question that came out of a post from earlier this week. I did a post on an overhead skirted softbox. Uh, my good friend, my mentor, my key grip, Richard Mall, uh, helped me out so much with that post. Thank you, Richard. You sent me diagrams. You sent me a whole write-up on, on why, how, time, all those things, and, uh, and it made that post so awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, by the way, those diagrams I've now posted. So you can see the, the original diagrams that Richard sent me. And uh, you can also see a couple photos that I got from the, the results of that overhead softbox. I took pictures of those little cars and you can see what that light looked like. I think they came out pretty well. I took them with my phone, <laughs> one of the little mini softbox in my living room. And uh, I was actually pretty impressed. So check them out, share them with your friends. Um, but Let's move on to the question that came out of that post. Uh, the skirts that hang underneath the diffusion in the box, they're used to control that light. Of course, that's what the whole box is about, controlling light. So the skirts, which are independently hung, so each side is its own skirt, they can be rolled up or taken down. If you want more light coming out one side of the box, you roll it up. If you want to control that light and kind of contain it more, you let it out. Uh, how do you do that if the box is hanging over there, over the set, um, you can have you know, you know a whole set built underneath it or a bunch of awesome looking cars for a car commercial that have all been set perfectly for camera. You have all sorts of departments all around that set with all their staging, with all their carts. You even have Video Village in there, man. So do you want to have to move all of that stuff to bring in a scissor lift, bring in a knuckle lift, a, a boom lift, uh, to bring in a bunch of ladders? No, you don't want to do that every time. So if you can do that from the ground without having to go up there and actually get to the box or lower the entire box and have to move everything. Hey, if you have to move Video Village, heads will roll. You know, someone might spill their latte and now I'm talking about stakes being really high. All right. So how do we do it from the ground? Working with Richard is one of my favorite things in the world because not only does he have a good time doing his job, but he loves doing things different ways all the time, thinking out of the box, thinking about what the what the problem is uh, and what the solutions might be, what equipment we have available to be able to 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 do that, to to solve the problem or what you can do before the problem even presents itself to be able to troubleshoot it before it's even an issue. And that's what Richard did from his garage with what he had <laughs> laying around. He made a little video that he sent. And now I'm going to show you that I'm really learning. I'm trying to learn how on iMovie, which this might be extremely simple to everybody else out there, but I'm trying to learn how to just splice these two videos together. Guys, it's all about learning every day. So uh, we're going to move into Richard's uh, video response to how to lower and raise the teasers, the skirts um, from the ground without having to move all the set pieces and move all the departments and get the lifts in there and get the ladders in there. Um, it's all going to save time. If you can do this with a little bit more rigging before, you know, before you have the issue, then you have the solution in your pocket waiting there. And you can say, watch this and raise or lower the skirt from the ground. So thank you, Richard, so much for your, for your expertise, for your, uh, for your solutions and for making this little video from, your garage with what you had lying around the garage. Thank you guys so much. And uh, let's see if I can figure out how to put these video clips together. Take care of each other. Have a wonderful weekend. Here's a quick little video response to uh, someone's question about how to make a teaser go up and down on the softbox video that Martine put together. Uh, so what, what we have here, let's pretend this is a uh, 12 by 12, uh, and we attach it to a pipe. I have some square stock here, it can be a pipe, whatever. The pipe needs to be a little bit longer than the rag that you're using. Uh, so what you do is you roll the rag up as tight as you can, and then you secure your line to the ends, the outside ends of the piece of pipe. 
uh, a clove hitch would be a good um, not to use. And then wrap it with some E-tape so it can't spin. You don't want the rope spinning around the pipe. And then if the rag is going down on the outside of the pipe, you want the knot and the rope on the inside. And then when you let it down, it coils the rope up around the pipe. So when you pull it up and down, it goes up as one unit. That's how I would do it. So I'd run the pipe, you know, I'd run the lines over to the stage wall and down. Um, but that's one way of raising and lowering the teaser without touching it. I mean, you have to touch it when you rig it, but, uh, you know, you can set the height, adjust it up, down, all day long. One guy, well, you know, takes a little time to set up, but once it's set up, uh, it works very simply. Uh, there you have it. That's a response to uh, how to make a teaser go up and down on a softbox. You know, um, I hope you guys can figure it out on your own. If you can't, direct message me or Martine or someone, and, uh, you know, we'll help out. All right.